Uh, you add all that together, Honda just ticked off all the boxes. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. I'd like to welcome you back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing, DIY tips and tricks, motor vlogs, accessory installation review videos, and a lot more. Appreciate you joining me this morning. It's October 1st. It is a beautiful morning for a ride. For those of you who follow my motor vlogs, you know I'm leaving uh, Einstein Bagels. Heading home. Just had my morning coffee. It's a perfect day. It's about 79 degrees, not too humid. I just love riding in the morning when it's cool very little wind and I had a subject well a couple of things I'll bring you up to date on my TV drama my uh, television stuff that I've been talking about the last couple of motor vlogs we have decided to go with Hulu TV uh, we did try out YouTube TV and uh, it had some really nice features and is a very good value and we may end up going back to YouTube TV at some point. But there's some interface things that we really like better on the Hulu TV. And I think what I'll do eventually is I will do a review of Hulu TV. For those of you who are interested or thinking about switching to a streaming type system. I canceled my dish yesterday. So I am free from that $125 a month fee I think I'll end up probably just saving about 60 bucks a month by the time it's all said and done it's not a huge amount of money but um, I think in the future for what we're trying to do I think it'll probably be a better setup for us so oh and another thing it's October 1st I am now free from Obamacare as of today I was able to get a short-term health policy that's uh, less than half the price of uh, the lousy Obamacare policy that no doctors in my area take. I think there's one hospital within 25 miles of me that accepts the Obamacare policy. So fortunately, I am now free of Obamacare. And if you're self-employed, uh, we're an independent contractor, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But fortunately, uh, not too long after, uh, I, I didn't, I really wasn't aware of this because nobody really talks about it very much. But apparently when Obamacare went into effect, you could only get a short-term health care policy outside of the marketplace for a maximum of two months. And apparently uh, when uh, Trump took office, he rolled that back and you could get a one-year temporary policy. It went from two months to a year, and apparently it's just recently gone up to two years. So that was just a blessing for somebody like me because uh, these marketplace policies are outrageously expensive. And I just had the bronze plan. I had the cheapest plan you could get. And it was outrageously expensive. And now I've got a policy through United Healthcare, which every doctor takes. Uh, most of the hospitals around here accept it, so I'm happy about that. I don't have to worry about health insurance anymore for the next year. Okay, so. I got a message on my website the other day, which comes to me in the form of an email. And it was from uh, 
Doug Miller, who is considering a 2018 Goldwing. And he asked me a question, and I told him I would motovlog about this because it's a good question. He asked me why I decided to buy a 2018 Goldwing instead of a Harley. And I don't know that I've ever really explained that in one of my motovlogs, but what was the process I went through on deciding to get the 2018 Goldwing? And honestly, I did look at other motorcycles uh, when I, you know, before I made my decision. Now, part of my decision was based on the fact that I had a 2012 Goldwing, and before that I had a 2007 and a 2005. So I had a history with Goldwings, and I was comfortable with the Goldwing platform. But of course, the 2018 Goldwing was a completely different animal. And when it first came out, you know, I started reading some of the early reviews, and of course, like most of you, there were some concerns about the trunk space and, you know, various other things. But I did love the styling. I mean, I thought, I think the styling of the 2018 Plus is just, I don't, I haven't seen a motorcycle I think looks any better. But nevertheless, I did look into the Harley Road Glide. And I also looked into the BMW R1200 RT. I'm not a big fan of the 1600 BMW. Uh, I don't know, it just, I don't know why. I can't explain it. First of all, it's very expensive. Uh, everybody says it's got a ton of power, but I don't need that much power. I'm not, you know, I'm not taking my motorcycle to the track. I just need a touring bike. And the, the 1200 RT seemed like a really nice, well-refined, you know, they've been making that boxer engine forever, and I, I was seriously considering the BMW. And then, of course, I rode the Harley Road Glide. And I guess my problem with the Harleys is, number one, they're super expensive. And... They just don't have the reliability of the Honda. And the same goes for BMW. I mean, they're great motorcycles. I'm sure these uh, BMWs are super refined. My problem with the BMWs is everybody I talk to that has one, they're so over-engineered that they're very prone to problems. I mean, they just, they have issues and when they, you know, some of these uh, BMWs have 12 or 13 ECMs on them. I mean, they're very complicated machines. And so, the reason I went with the 2018 Goldwing over these other options, like the Harley and the BMW, is just simply reliability. You know, I, I know I'm comfortable with the Honda Goldwings. I've put over 150,000 miles on Goldwings since I've been riding Goldwings. And I'm talking about trouble-free miles. I've never had a Goldwing break down or strand me somewhere. They always have run. They just always get me where I'm going. Even with this brand new 2018, and I got one of the first ones, you know, probably within the first three months of the bike being out, it had, been, it had been built. And even this bike has been extremely reliable. I've never had a problem. And I think that's just a reputation that Honda has. You know, they're just reliable motorcycles. They're easy to maintain. They're inexpensive to maintain compared to a BMW. So, you know, for those of you that have owned BMWs, you know what I'm talking about. When you go to the BMW dealer, you better get your checkbook out. Because these are expensive motorcycles to maintain. And, you know, people complain about how much it costs to maintain a Goldwing. You should try owning a BMW. Because they're expensive by just like their cars are expensive to maintain. And... I'm comfortable working on the Goldwing. I'm comfortable working with the Hondas. I had my videos 
uh, for the previous Goldwing. So, you know, it was only logical that I have a Goldwing to use for the platform to make videos for this new model. So there were just so many things in favor of getting the 2018 Honda as opposed to going with another brand. Now, I also looked at the Yamaha Venture because it came out just before the 2018 Goldwing. And I really like that motorcycle. I think it's really, really, if for a, for a touring bike, for long distance touring, that thing's got a trunk on it like you can't imagine. I mean, that thing's huge, it's cavernous. And it's got some nice features. I just wish, if I'll tell you what, if Yamaha had put the VMAX engine in that new Venture, I, I'd have probably bought one. If it had a liquid-cooled V4 engine instead of that V-twin, I probably would have bought one, and I would suspect maybe half of the people that bought the new Goldwing would have bought one instead of a Goldwing. In my opinion, Yamaha blew it by putting that V-twin engine in there. Now, it's, I'm sure it's a great engine, not criticizing that, it has plenty of power, but I know it's going to have a lot of heat to go with it. But, uh, you know, that was my biggest complaint with the Harley, with the Road Glide. Summertime here, it's 100 degrees outside, you're riding, you come to a stoplight, and your inside of your thighs will fry. Now, they're better than they used to be, I know that. But uh, they still have a ton of heat. I never have a problem with heat from a Goldwing, ever. I've never gotten hot. I've never noticed the heat coming off the engine at all. It's just never been an issue for me. If I were going to buy a V-Twin touring bike, it would probably be the Indian. I think the Indians are the, the most refined V-Twin uh, as far as appearance. I mean, they're, they're, they're absolutely beautiful. The paint job is immaculate. The, just everything about the bikes look like they're super high quality and they have all the tech. So if I were going to go with a V-Twin touring bike, I probably would go with the Indian. But then you've got the problem of the dealer network. See, Honda has the big dealer network. If you're on a long distance tour, no matter where you are across the country, you're probably gonna be able to find a Honda dealer if you have a problem. Not so with BMW. Now, Harley's no problem. There's a lot of Harley dealers out there. When it comes to BMW or Indian, there may not be as many dealers as there are Honda or Harley. So all things considered, reliability, performance, comfort, price, I mean you can get a 2018 or 2019 Goldwing, if you, if you go to the right dealer, you can get some pretty good discount. You can get a pretty nice you can, I, I bought this bike, I think I paid $23.5, and I think you can get them cheaper than that now. And this bike, list price was like $28 or $28.2 or something like that, and I bought it before they really started discounting. So I think they're, you know, if you go to a place like Shawnee Honda's, where I bought mine in Oklahoma, uh, if you buy at one of the d big dealers out in Tennessee or North Carolina or, or Arkansas or wherever they are, uh, you know, you can save three or four thousand dollars off the list price i don't know that you can do that on a har uh, on a harley or a bmw or an indian now if you buy locally at like here in dallas you pay list price but i was willing to drive 300 miles to save thirty five hundred dollars that's just my personal opinion so price performance comfort reliability warranty has a good warranty and a very inexpensive extended warranty available factory warranty uh, you add all that together honda just ticked off all the boxes or most of the boxes okay yeah the trunk's not as big as i would like okay but everything else oh and i was also very intrigued with the idea of this dct transmission that kind of lured me and sucked me in because I thought that sounds pretty cool. I'd like to try that. And nobody else had anything like that. And I'm glad I did because I absolutely love it. I think it's one of the coolest things there is about this motorcycle. I love the electric windshield. 
you know I love the Bluetooth connectivity I love the tech yeah I wish the GPS were better but these are things that if Honda listens to their customers in the next refresh or revision of the Goldwing they could fix these things those are easy things to uh, address this bike has the bones of a great motorcycle and I think it's the best motorcycle you can buy for the money I honestly do I really think for the money you get more value and more for your money with a Goldwing than any other motorcycle out there so that's my reasoning of why I chose the 2018 Goldwing put in the comments down below what are your reasons for buying the 2018 or 2019 or for not buying it I'd love to know what your thoughts are now if you like this video I'd appreciate it if you click that little subscribe button down below and click on the bell icon if you want YouTube to notify you when we come out with new videos I try to do a couple motor vlogs a week I don't always do it but I try to so thanks for joining me today on my ride home and I will talk to you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.